tej will help you is it fine okay yes. not only shri tej everyone will help those who are present in that class so charvik uh, saumya mohammad everyone those who are present yeah 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 start and first tell them what is acid what is base to manas because it's very new and then make him comfortable and then start yeah i hope the screen is visible mummy your voice is breaking so hello am i audible now yes we are clear and I'm the like, screen and for me it's like the like the screen is blur and your voice is like little breaking screen is blur yes no for no. okay now somewhat Nam, like it's still like a little blur or something. Okay, okay. Then Shri Tej, please carry on. I'm like basically I should just explain the slide. Yes, yes. So um, first, acid has like some substances which uh, uh, are they have a sour taste and they also have some um, properties. They can uh, they really <laughs> like uh, hydrogen uh, ions. <laughs> And uh, bases are. Uh, oh, mom! One minute, my battery is low. Okay. So yes, so oh, Shri Tej will continue in a while. I'll I'll start with that. So basically, what is an acid? So at the acid have some property. We will be learning about that property now, Manas. So first, what is an acid? So when H plus ions are more. we call them as acid that is hydrogen ions so how the how will indicate base when hydroxide so that is oh oh is called as hydroxide when hydroxide hydroxide ions are more we call them as base now there is something called strong acid and strong base so can you guess manas what is strong acid and what is strong base maybe ma'am maybe in strong acid more hydrogen ions and Correct. in strong base more hydroxide ions more reactive in nature for example if you go and touch hydrochloric do you have you ever about heard about this hydrochloric acid hcl no ma'am it's a very very highly reactive for example if you touch that acid you will get a hole in your hand that much reactive in nature now um, which one hcl hydrochloric acid that is uh, basically hcl is present inside your stomach itself yes Mom, but what if like what will happen if we like, like, uh, like do let us take one experiment. It's not scientifically real, but let us take. Imagine you took some acid from someone's like a dead body's uh person, like a person who is recently dead. So you take some hydrochloric acid from him, and then if you insert a finger there, will a finger like gone case? If it if the hydrochloric acid is so reactive, then your finger will get wound. Of course, you doesn't mean from where you are taking it. If it is highly reactive, yes, it will. I'm like, how do we know whether it's uh, highly reactive? Highly reactive or, or not. not? So we have some certain things to check whether it is highly reactive or not. The nature of the acid, yeah. Mom, is it like uh, really heat or and or some? What if like what happens if you wear a gloves like anything like which is so you have strong? some. some gloves are there yeah you have some if you go to chemistry lab so they'll be giving you a lab coat there you'll be give, given a gloves yes. cap precautions are there but still it is very 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 highly reactive in nature and it can harm you even if you have gloves some very strong rubber gloves i don't have idea but still it is very very highly reactive it can damage it can go to yeah. to your pores to your skin it can make hole also that much Highly reactive acids. I'm so like, oh, no. what if if our gloves is made up of some metal or kind of something? Ah, oh, you can probably say that it will protect you. Yes. Mom, is it heat or something like? Ah, uh, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will have the heat also. You will have the heat. Of, heat, heat will be also released when the acid is highly reactive. Heat will also be released. Yes, heat Mom, is also there. Ah, uh, is hydrochloric acid is used in any like any things except our stomach digestion? toilet i think so or whatever we are using in the toilet for toilets it's it's also very highly reactive acids i'm going to open Not... the door somebody smoking yeah yeah you can so so manas are you getting some idea on acids yes ma'am 
yeah so highly reactive in nature so we when we say something as a strong acid we will say where we are using the strong acids i will show you in the google also okay i have also not searched we will see in the google so strong acids are nothing but highly reactive weak acids so do you know manas that we have acids in our food items also for example we have uh, malic acid in apple do you know that yes ma'am you know that acids are present in our uh, food items also those are not reactive right if we touch apple we are not getting hurted because they are weak acid they are not highly reactive they are weak acids the number of h plus ions are less and they are very less reactive in nature yes it's good for health also as acids are good for health i mean apples are good for health and those are called weak acids mommy your voice is breaking yeah mommy your voice is breaking now am i audible Mom, still yes, so like when you talk fastly, like the voice is breaking. Like when you talk slow, okay. okay. Am I audible now? Somewhat. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, so like, good. what is the acid present in the onion, ma'am? Like I forgot the name. Even I, I tartaric acid. I think so. Yes. No. We'll check in the Google page. Acid. Acid present in. Uh, onion. I think so. It is tartaric. I don't know. Ma'am, ma is... sulfonic. Sulfonic. Yes, it's sulfonic acid. acid. Ma'am, is it a sulfonic? Yeah. Ma'am, is hmm? it a weak or a strong acid? It is a weak acid, of course, because when you touch but, onion, you are. Ma'am, but uh, onions have something like that sulfonic acid. Like yeah. it is we'll weak acid. Yes. I agree, weak acid, but. The thing is, when it's weak to, it cannot harm anything like to our hands or something, mm -hmm. but it can affect our eyes. Like it will, yeah. like when we cut, uh, like when we yes. cut uh, onions, we get, uh, like tears. So tears. highly reactive yes. to your yes. eyes. Yeah. So we need to wear the eyes. helmet and cut onions. Mom, when no. we cut them, I have the precaution. Also. The Another precaution, like if you keep it the onion, like if you. Keep it in water for some time, then acid's power will lose slowly and slowly. Or if you keep it in a freezer, then also it can work. Yeah, and that then, is why people say while cutting onions, you have to put the onions in water. Why do they say that? Because water has the capacity to neutralize. Yes? yes. So that is why when you are so hungry, you drink some water to neutralize your stomach. Yes, yes. Manas, getting it? Yes, ma'am. Does is it making some sense, Manas, to you? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. So yeah, so that day, yeah, Shri Tej, you can continue with the you know reactions. You can explain. So um, when uh, so the three types of salts and they only occur uh, specifically. So when a strong acid reacts with a strong base, for example, HCl, like ma'am told, hydrochloric acid, and uh, NaOH. They uh form neutral salt like now um uh Na and uh, Cl uh, together form neutral salt and the uh, H and uh, OH together form H two O. So um that's why it is uh, NaCl is a neutral salt. And yes. uh, when a strong acid reacts with a weak base, it is an acidic salt. Uh, it's the same case here, but uh, there is different examples. Uh, C, uh, NH4 and uh, Cl together form as the salt solution, and uh, H and OH form the H2O. Yes. So name of the salt? NH4Cl. Ammonium chloride. Yes. Yes, ma'am. NH4 means it is always ammonium. Cl means chloride. Uh, ammonium chloride. And don't ask me how they name these. So that is all. You have some centralized system for that. It's called IUPAC. I have already said. So you will like, learn. I always get confused in these terms. Man. Like, I only remember that... HTO, OH. Man, you will be is... confused. You you should be confused. No harm in that. Why? Because these are all new to you. So when you practice more and more, when I when you see this NH4Cl for five times, then you will automatically remember that is ammonium chloride, right? Mom, the CH3COO NH4 is uh, ammonium acetate, right? 
no 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 sodium acetate ma'am sodium acetate your name means it is always sodium remember i'm like few people like uh, like few people get confused like in the uh, vinegar and this yeah vinegar like so what is the you know what is the chemical formula of vinegar uh, ma'am let me remember oh i'll search also vinegar ma'am it's like ch3 c double o h ch3 c double o h c double o h okay this is ch3 c o o h basically it's acetic acid no sorry it's 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 not acetic acid Yeah, it's, it's acid it is acetic acid. acid, no. See here, so we have in the slide itself, which it is acetic acid. It's not vinegar. Okay, no need to get diverted. Yeah, Sri Tej, come on. Second one. So um, uh, a strong third one, third one. Um, uh, a weak acid and a strong base. Together form a basic salt, and uh, it is a uh, known as a uh, sodium um, acetate. Um, mm -hmm. CH three C O O H plus a uh, N O O H. So a uh, N O O H is a like, strong base, and a uh, C H three uh, C O O H is a weak acid. So together they form a basic salt, and here C H three C O O uh, plus Na is equals to the salt solution, and the remaining is the H two. Okay. Uh, Now, yeah. I'm All like. Right. I'm like. Uh, you told that mm -hmm. CH three C double O H is uh, acetic acid. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, I got confused when I searched to Google again whether I'm right or not. When I mm -hmm. searched the vinegar formula, uh, like mm -hmm. chemical formula, it showed like. Uh, Like it showed, vinegar is a solution of acetic acid in water. Yeah, yeah. Actually, one minute. Vinegar. And so, vinegar will be C H three C double O H plus H two O. Yes, yes. Actually, yes. So, it's the chemical formula C two H four O two. Okay, ma'am. It's basically vinegar and acetic acid. Yes. Acetic. And like it is also known as like. The yeah. vinegar is vinegar. also like acetic acid, also known acetic as acid. Vinegar, vinegar is a acid. common name. Acetic acid is a chemical name. Yes, ma'am. Correct. So please remember these points. Vinegar is a uh, common name, and acetic acid is a chemical name, chemical formula. And now my question is for Mom, your Mama, voice is breaking again. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Your voice. My Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is good. I don't know why. Is my voice clear now? Ma'am, now also it will be breaking. Yeah. Am I audible now? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, fine. Yeah. So now my question. So why? Ma'am, your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking again. Okay, wait a minute. Ma'am, at what time will the class end today? Seven thirty. Okay. Okay, so we have started ten minutes early. So seven twenty maybe. Ma'am, but we'll continue. Yeah, we'll continue whole night. <laughs> okay. So yeah, just we started it, so we will continue. No issues in that. Uh. I was asking. My question was to Manas. So why it is neutral salt here and it's acidic salt here? It's basic salt here and again a neutral salt. Why it is not just salt, Manas? Yeah. You are not audible, Manas. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, you are audible now. Ma'am, I don't know, ma'am. Just guess it because can anyone else say other than the class guys who listen the class? Yes, Saumya, can you tell me why it is neutral salt, acidic salt, basic salt, and not just salt? Ma'am, um, is it because there are like different types of chemicals and different types of salts? Be more specific. 
Is it I students? No, no ma'am. It's H C N. No ma'am. It's hydrochloric chloric. It's H C and L. L. I sure yeah. Yes ma'am. What? Uh, but... Yeah. Continue please. Plus N A O H. So H O H will be taken for H two O and then. And for neutral salt, N A plus C I equals to neutral salt. Okay. N A O H will give me N A C L plus H two O. So how this is actually happening? So this is strong acid, this is strong base, and this is neutral salt. So one as I ask you, like when I have a strong acid plus a weak base, I'll get a acidic salt. Okay, why it is acidic salt? Because very simple logic by logic, the acid is very strong here. The weak, the base is indeed weak here. So obviously the salt will have the more acidic property only, right? Yes, ma'am. People getting. Yes, ma'am. So I am reacting a strong acid with a weak base. So I, I'll get a salt. Still, I'll get a salt. No doubt in that. But what kind of salt I'm getting? Acidic salt I'm getting. Why it is acidic? Because I'm using strong acidic. So acidic property will be more in the salt because I'm using weak basic. So weak, obviously, whichever it is strong, that is dominant, right? Right? Yes. Ma yes, ma'am. Got it, Manas and Aishwarya and Soumya. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Now I'll explain you the reaction. Only for one I'll explain, and the rest you please watch the recording, uh, because it will take one full class to explain everything. So HCl. So this is actually when I tell you to how this has come, NaCl and H2O has come. This is basically H plus ions and Cl minus ions. Okay. And then it is Na plus ions and OH minus ions. So we already know that positive attracts negative. Like positive will be joining to negative, right? Positive and negative attracts each other, right? Yes. Everybody know that. Yes, ma'am. So yes, ma here, so here you have an H plus, and here you have an OH minus. So it will form. H2O. Why it is H2O? Because two H you have, so H2, and only one O you have, so it is O here. And here Na plus and Cl minus is there, so they will combine to form NaCl. And now you you can separate like this H plus and Cl, Na plus and OH. If you have, if you practice more equations, you can easily write this, right? One more short trick is there. As I told you, when an acid is reacting with a base, it always gives you salt plus water, right? So whatever is there in this acid and base thing, you just put H2O first, okay? No doubt in this. Always you will get an H2O, maybe two H2O, four H2O, eight H2O. We don't know the number, but you will always mostly get the H2O, okay? And so like what for any? Like to form any equation, we need to know the valences. We need to know the balances, but I'm just telling you a short trick. Like, if you are feeling very difficult, see, this is a strong, this is an easy equation. If you take the weak acid, this equation is somewhat, like, somewhat complex. So, and you will have more complex equations in future. In that case, you can you can know this formula, like, not form it. Like, acid and base always gives you salt plus water. So, you know, water is for sure compound. Whatever acid, base, and salt, maybe we know water will always be like H2O. You everyone know that water formula is H2O? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes ma so whatever it is remaining here, just write it. For example, we can take this one, CH3COOH. 
NH4O3 went. We will take this. We'll take this. So, no, it is not getting pasted. So, we'll take this one. CH3 COOH. So we know that for sure water will be the output. So in this you can water means always from acid one H will go. Okay. And from base one OH will go. Correct? Correct. Yes, sir. People understand yes, newcomers who are new to the class and those who are attending this class for first time. Understanding whatever I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so always one H will go from acid and one OH will go from base. That will actually make the H2O as I explained you in this equation. H plus and OH minus combined to form water. Like that always in this example also you have one H here and one OH here, right? Yes. That made H2O. And whatever it is remaining, what is remaining? CH3, COO, this side NH4, no? That's all, no? Just write that. Okay, neutral salt, right? Understanding something? Yes, Manas? Ma Manas? Ma'am. Understanding? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please, if you are not understanding, go and watch the recording once again and again and again till you understand. It's easy only, you will understand. Yes? It's a short trick to write the equation. In case if you don't know how to write, for example, if it is like balancing, see, this equation is just one. The coefficient of this equation is 1, here also 1, and here also 1. I mean, not here. Like in um, L RHS, both are 1. So if I'm giving like 2 CH3, COOH, or like 4, or 5, or 6, then you have to balance. That is different case. You have to balance here some, some coefficient and H2O will come. That is a different case. That we will see how to do in future. Okay. But for now, when the equation is having only 1 as coefficient, then you can do this method. You can use this. Mommy, why is this Am I audible now? I'm here audible. Yes, yes ma'am, you are audible now. Okay. Got it? How to do? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Now we are going to litmus paper. So there will be some question now. Um, how it is? So you are telling that some is acidic, some is base. How will I find whether it is acidic or base? So yes, obviously we need something to find, right? So if I give a new compound to you, I need to say whether it is acidic or base or whatever it is, I need to say. How can I say? With the help of something called litmus paper. Yes. So litmus paper, what is a litmus paper? So litmus paper is a type of pH indicator. What is a pH? Number of hydrogens Hydro. present in uh, yeah number of hydrogen present in any solution yes. you can see for example HCl if you want to measure the acidic level of HCl then how I can how will I find with the help of litmus paper. litmus paper yes so litmus paper is nothing it's it is it will be like a paper so in this you can see it's just like a paper no see here it's just like a paper only it look like a paper and it is helping us to find out the acidic nature or basic nature of any solution. Ma'am, like yes. every acid has like a hydrogen. What, what? I'm like litmus paper is a pH indicator, right? Yeah. So it will only detect like the uh, compound or the uh, chemical uh, formulas that has hydrogen, right? Not hydrogen, basic also, base also. Based on the color, you will find out. If it is acidic, blue litmus turns to red. If it is basic, red litmus turns to blue, just opposite. And the pH in this is number of hydrogen atoms. Like hydrogen yeah. right? You have something called POH. <laughs> you have something called POH also. But basically, people won't use pH is the best representation. If, if it is OH, they will just represent with the help of number. Number of hydro, like they will say like it is more than 7. So pH level is more than 7 means it is indicating that it is basic, right? Or you can say POH. POH is, for example, 8. It means the basic is 8. Basic level is 8. 
it's basically you people some of you would have known 1 to 7 means acidic and 7 above means it's basic so don't get confused people who don't know just leave it i'll come to that point later ma'am ma so, can yeah. explain litmus paper again something happened to my system when you were explaining okay no problem litmus paper is just a paper that you all have it looks like that it's not just a paper it looks like a normal strip of paper so why it is helpful because till now we were discussing about some equations some acid some base i'm telling you i'm telling you to blindly believe that hcl is acid you won't question me why ma'am it is acid right i'm telling you to believe it's an acid and then you are believing it is an acid i'm telling you acetic acid is an acid so you're telling okay 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 so how scientists or like chemists would have identified that it is an acid or base first before like we you me and you know how they have identified it with the help of uh, that is with the help of lot of other ways i'm not telling about that but in the modern days we have something called litmus paper so how to if i give you a blind component compound like chemical blind chemical i'm asking you to find i'm not giving the name of it i'm just giving you a blind chemical component i'm asking you to find whether it is an acid or base so how will you find so with the help of litmus paper so what this litmus paper do will we'll see that so it is made up made by treating strips of paper with natural dyes extracted from lichens primarily from the rocella and lecanaro species so how it is made it is made by treating strips of paper with natural dyes basically like, made up of dyes. are they like animals or something like uh, microbes yeah you have that in the second para so rocella and lecanaro are genera of lichens yeah they are lichens so uh, which are symbiotic association between fungi and algae or cyanobacteria so these lichens so you i don't want to explain you already know what is cyanobacteria what is lichens what is symbiotic association what is fungi what is algae right so these lichens are all uh, are known for their ability to produce natural dyes so these lichens can produce natural dyes including the dyes used in the litmus paper with the help of the dyes that they produce they are making the litmus paper yes yes ma'am okay no need to concentrate much on rockella or lecanaro just you have to know that's all for information the key features and use for litmus paper include so what are the features now coming to how will you find the acidic nature or basic nature of any solution that is coming here the so first and foremost feature of litmus paper is color scheme immediate color scheme so if it is an acidic solution red color litmus paper will turn to blue so this is a very important keyword people will get confused which color will turn to which one and what is that acidic or base everyone will get confused so remember acidic means it is always red will turn to blue r b means it is acidic b r means it is basic got it that is blue yes. if the blue litmus is turning to red litmus red color then it is basic solution yes Yes, for your identification. If I'm just, if I am giving you a solution, I'm just dropping a litmus paper in that. I'm asking you to find whether it is an acid or base. You will just say if it is turning into blue, you will say it is an acid. If it is turning into red, you will say it is a basic. But if I am being more specific, tell me the acidic level of the acid solution. For example, if it is HCl, the reactivity nature is more. If it is acetic acid, the reactivity nature is less. i am asking you just not to tell acid or base i am also asking you the exact ph level that is amount of hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions present in that what is the level of the reactivity if i am asking you that so what will you do now you go to the numbers so simple and quick provides an immediate visual indication so that is what simple and quick if i am just asking you whether acid or base simply you can tell with the help of colors you can tell you don't need any ph or something something like that but if i'm asking you very generally then you should go to the number so you should go to the range so if the solution is acidic and uh, if i want to measure the rate of acidity so for example you can randomly guess hcl will have some 2 so now comes to the thing when the ph is less than 7 if the ph there is order of 1 to 14 children okay the ph range is from 1 to 14 numbers okay in the strip not in the strip maybe this color color palette it ranges from if you see 1 to 14 can you all see this 1 to 14 number here yes, written sir. 
So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, if it is from one to this level, it is acidic. They have given it as acidic, right? Is the picture yeah, visible or should I zoom it? No, no it is visible. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So see here, it is from one to fourteen. The strip is written one to fourteen, and now you can see from one one means extremely reactive. So HCl may be in two or one mostly. Yes, it is extremely reactive. So from one to six, it is basically not seven. From one to six, it is basically acidic. So when you give the color, so it won't just turn as such, right? So for example, I'm just giving you one HCl. For example, yeah. Ma'am, it is like the measure. Yeah, based on the color. Oh, okay. Okay, now I was coming to tell that point. So if if the red litmus is turning to blue, what it indicates? It is acidic in nature. Acidic. Acidic, yes, ma'am. See, acidic R B. Basic blue red. If it is B B, if if it 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 will be B B. Remember this B B is there. B means basic blue to red. Remember A R B and B B R. Just remember B B R means basic blue to red. Remember like this. So if it is red turning to blue, it is acidic. So you will basically, you know, what we'll do based on the color, you will find this. If it's acidic. So you will find based on the color. Actually, I I cannot understand one point. Uh, if it is, uh, you know, I don't understand in this picture. It's like if it is acidic. Are you all there? Okay, fine. If it is acidic, it turns the red litmus to blue color, right? So blue color means it is actually this case only it starts the blue color. But here it is given as red only. No. Mommy, your voice is breaking. Mommy, your voice is breaking. Okay. Okay, fine. I was telling this only. Like with the help of the color change, you can find if it is extremely red, pink, blue, sorry, orange, yellow, green. And if it is green, this color it is neutral. Neutral means not acidic, also not basic, exact neutral. So if acetic acid will be somewhere, where can you guys guess where acetic acid will be? Yes, Manas, can you guess where acetic acid will be? Ma'am, ma'am, ma uh, acid can only be highly reactive when it's like in a solution or like in a uh, normal. It will be highly reactive normally. Okay. Normally, it will, yeah. Uh, I was asking you some question. Yeah, as yeah, manas. So if it is acetic acid, where it will be? Can you tell me the range? Just normal guess. No need pakka range. Ma'am, one to six. Ah, in one to six, it you know acetic acid is weak acid, right? Yes, ma'am. So where it can be in this one to six? Can it be on one? Can it be on six or can it be on three? six, ma'am? Near Very six. Good. Near six. Why? Because when it goes the higher range, it means acidic level is decreasing, right? Yes. Got it. Yes, These analysis you should not get confused. Yes, you should be clear. Um, but in my book, it's written like pH 14 is the highest. Highest, yeah. Highest in the basic. Highest in the but basic. How is it going like from top to bottom? Then 14 will be the lowest rate. No, 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 no. As I am telling you, 1 means highly acidic. So 14 means highly basic, right? It should be highly basic. Logic wise, I am asking you, Siddhant. Like 1 means highly reactive. So 14 should be, it should also be, it's a highly acidic means it should be highly basic. Highly basic means you can also say very less acidic. Right? Yes, ma'am. You I'm can also, say vice versa. Yeah. I'm also, I have another doubt that uh, you can find like, you can find like whether it's an alkaline or acidic uh, by the use of uh, like litmus paper or pH level, right? Yeah. So, like pH level in a sense, like the definition is uh, number of hydrogen. But if you take one acid that doesn't have the hydrogen, then how will you count? Like how many hydrogens are there? No, no, no. I'm not at all clear with your question. What? 
what you are asking i don't know how to express like my doubt is ph value like okay the, like the uh, ph value definition is hydro like the number of hydrogen ah number of hydrogen ions yeah yeah hydrogen ions so think of any acid which doesn't have any hydrogen ions then it is not an acid. acid then it is not an acid and that means every acid has a hydrogen ion obviously yes what is the definition of an acid number of hydrogen ion concentration so where is that acid see acidity is a characteristic property of acids okay uh, hydrochloric okay 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 i have not mentioned that okay so what is acid means they have high h plus no they have hydrogen ions only then they can be acid or else they cannot be acid okay right. ma'am because like uh, if you take one uh, acid like uh, acetic acid they yeah, are in, in acetic acid you have h plus yeah you have h plus yes so in this is actually ch3 co o minus and h plus so it's basic actually basic sorry acidic because you have uh, h plus ions but it is very weak as it is bounded to ch3 co o minus it's weak acid the bond between them is weak yes got it now yes sir okay why why that s is so long i leave i leave okay it's stop we'll stop for today that's all okay ma'am um, can uh, everyone who are in team b i'm going to share the link on the group please join please do it immediately everyone team b mom like yeah. when like directly after this class i'm like yeah yeah yes uh, like, i will send it in 5 minutes yeah I'm like, please please acid, follow someone like, i'm like i searched uh, in google like acid it does not contain hydrogen there it gave the answer like bronze uh, like bronze uh, acid like it what, is what like acid? bronze acid like it's saying yeah ma'am it's saying like that bronze site acid Yes, ma'am. Like, I am typing in the chat. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Bronzite acid. Okay. Can I will type like this? Can any acid? Ma'am, can we leave? Yeah, you can leave. Everyone, please, please. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Hydrogen ion can be classified as acid. Instead, they accept an electron pair in the vacant orbital. Boron trifluoride can act as a Lewis acid uh, by accepting pair of electrons from nitrogen to ammonia. Okay, so they are asking, they are telling like, even though naturally they don't have any hydrogen ions, but they can accept the minus electrons. They can accept. So, uh, Sidan, actually, I got the point. Wait. so what they are trying to say so i'll i'll share the screen am i audible yes ma'am you are audible so basically by logic they are naming them as acid how logically they are naming them as acid means for example hcl plus nacl okay so if it is there what is h plus and cl minus here it is na plus and cl minus what is yes. this h plus actually doing it is accepting the cl minus right sorry sorry naoh here naoh it is accepting the oh minus right what is oh is a negative negative means electron right electron positive means proton so proton. what the pro what the proton should do it should accept the electron basically that yes. is a mechanism so yes. uh, whatever acid you said uh, there is something called lewis acid also so whatever the acid even though they don't have the hydrogen ions but still something else in that chemical is accepting the electron so they have made the definition of acid like it's not just hydrogen ions it can it if it is having the ability to accept the electrons that is negative then still they are considered as acid now you got the point yes ma'am like ma'am uh, can you ex like explain about uh, aluminum chloride also like that like aluminum is... chloride okay tell me the formula aluminum i think alcl uh, al Th ALCl3 ALCl3 AL AL correct so ALCl3 with reacts with mm, like um uh, that like i i send something in the chat like it's a, 
Mm-hmm. You can see like it's written like bronzed acid is an acid where it can accept an electron pair, but they do not have a proton H plus to donate. Example uh-huh. of this acid uh-huh. is aluminum chloride A A L C L three. Aluminum chloride, boron trifluoride acids that do not have hydrogen ion. Well, whatever I said, they have also given, but they do not have proton, but they accept the electron, right? So we can have. So we have to have the reaction also. Wait, I'll search the reaction. Uh, AlCl3 um, reacts with. So basically, as per their formula, AlCl3 is a uh, acid, right? No, sir. With any base, we'll say, we'll say any base. Wait, so ALC acts with a base. Mm, react with rigorously with bases. One second, I'll find any good base that is easy for the reaction. Mm, aluminum chloride. Any base? I am not getting it. I'll search. One reaction I got AlCl three plus plus Cl minus. Okay, uh, basically I got this reaction from top. AlCl three is an acid that is reacting with Cl minus. So as per their rule, Cl minus is an electron, so they can be considered as base, part of base maybe. So this this Cl has one and this Cl is already three Cl is there. So basically this is Al plus Cl three minus. So this is also minus, so it should actually go with uh, Cl minus means Al should go with Cl. Uh, so how it, it it actually should come like Cl four. Like uh, it's like something a valency kind of thing here, like uh, the valency of aluminium or valence of chloride something. I think so. It's not balancing. I think how they are making it AlCl4 means because they are taking this entire thing as an acid. Acid means they have the plus plus uh, uh, like highly they are positive basically. When it is acidic means you tell that hydrogen ions are more right. So hydrogen ions means sorry not hydrogen ions positive ions are more in this case. So basically I think they are before cases HCl plus NaOH means we will say H plus and Cl minus right. But in this, I think I think I am not sure. I'll I'll go refer some books and tell you. I think in this, what they are actually trying to take AlCl3 completely as plus. Okay, so ne- they are not taking Al plus and Cl3 minus. AlCl3 completely as plus because that is acidic. It is acidic in nature. So acidic means not- they have positive protons higher level. Yeah. Like, can you allow me to share my screen? I'll share one book with you. Oh, okay, fine. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I'll stop share. Yeah. Now it is disabled share. Hmm. It's not dis- okay. Disabled the share. Participants. Yeah. Where I got it? Yeah. Um, can you see my screen? Ah, oh, yeah, I can see. I'm like here. Uh, if you see here, like they are talking about some valencies here. Like if you take here also litmus paper, they are yeah. like taking about some valencies. Like here also you can see like methyl orange also and also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so where is that? There. They are in the. I think this chapter or some the before chapter they are talking about something like valencies here. Mm-hmm. I'm like if you check here, give a use of the following salts. Here we have AgNO3 here. Yeah. So here also we don't have H, right? Yeah, OH, OH. We don't have OH. But Ag plus and NO3 is minus. So that is the same thing applicable here also. NO3 is a minus ion. So when it is a minus ion, it is actually considered as base. No. Same way, I like acid. I think I and AgNO3 is a salt, right? No. Oh, no, 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 just tell me. JJ, no, is salt, right? I mean, it's silver nitrate. Yeah, it is silver nitrate. It is, it's a salt, right? I'm sure it's a base. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not. Ba- See, base and salts are different. 
salt is a by product of acid and base combination no silver nitrate is a salt you can even actually you can touch the silver nitrate it is a visible salt macroscopic salt my thing in this chapter uh, i have yes ma'am this chapter only you can see like we have some atomicity and valency here yeah. yeah, like yeah. hydrogen and valency is 1 carbon is 4 Yeah, so yeah, here, yeah. ma'am, you saw that AlCl three. Here you can see mm -hmm. aluminium has the valence three. So three, three into one is three. So it will be AlCl three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. This valence.